It doesn't take many bytes to make animations look dynamic. Web animations need not to compromise on motion design. I love making these vector animations for the web in After Effects using the Lottie Files plugin. Making such animations help me push my limits as a motion designer because it requires good problem solving to keep it light and effective. But you cannot simply export an After Effects composition to the web. Any expressions or effects won't work in Lottie Files, only the keyframes would work. Hi, my name is Gaurav and today I'll show you how to animate a design in After Effects using Duik Angela or any rigging plugin for that matter to make vector animations like this ready for your website. First we need to understand how Lottie file actually stores the data and it is pretty straightforward. It stores the data about the shape that is position, scale, rotation, path or vertices and tangents and their change over time. That is the keyframe data. Let's do a couple of experiments to see how. These are two identical looking shapes and they occupy similar number of pixels. But the one on the left has eight points in total while the one on the right has only two. It is basically a line with a thick stroke. When we play these in Lottie files, although there is no animation, but in the preview window you can see that the shape with eight points makes a JSON file of 1.4 kilobytes while the shape with two points makes a JSON file of 1.2 kilobytes. Now let's check the effect for keyframes. The movement of both of these shape layers looks identical, but the shape on the right has three keyframes, which makes a JSON file of 1.3 kilobytes, and the one on the left, which has five keyframes, makes a JSON file of 1.5 kilobytes. More keyframes and more complicated shape equals the heavier JSON file. No rocket science there. Now let's apply these principles to create our animation for Lottie files. Here is a simple hand shape layer. It has multiple shapes with proper names. To keep it light, I have made the fingers just out of strokes because more points means more file size. For arm, I used a shape of four points and ellipse instead of stroke because I wanted to make it uh, slightly tapered and Lottie doesn't consider tapered property of the strokes. So that is the only way. The next step is to create bones to move the fingers and arm. This process might sound complicated, but with Duik Angela, it is super quick. For fingers, just select the path, go to bones tab in Duik Angela panel, click on hominoid, then click on this small gear icon next to the arm. Select arm and forearm and control plus click on the arm button. Now, if you move the bones generated by this plugin, your stroke moves as well. Now select all the bones, go to links and constraint and click on auto rig, click on hide layers controls. Uh, and now your finger has this inverse kinematic controller. Repeat this process for all the fingers to create controller for the rest of them. Create a main bone for the arm and make it the parent of the hand shape layer and all the base bones of the fingers so that when we move this main arm the entire hand moves along with the base of the fingers but not the tips this gives uh, it a very organic look now it is the time to animate use the reference illustration of the laptop to hit the right keys the hard work is done but if you play your animation in the lottery preview uh, it will either freeze or it won't animate properly the way you want it to. The problem here is the path or the strokes are driven by expressions of Duik Angela, which is not compatible with Lottie Player. The solution is pretty simple. Convert these expressions into keyframes. And now you don't need any of these bones to drive this animation except for the main bone as it is a direct parent of the hand layer and not driving any expressions. Delete all the effects on the hand layer and on the bone layers. It won't affect the animation now. Now preview this comp in Lottie file panel and you can see that it is as smooth as it can be and that too without any errors. Notice that the JSON file is 82 kilobytes, which is pretty light, but it can be much lighter. You can see that our composition has many extra keyframes, which we are not using, although they are not in the work area, but still somehow Lotte stores that information as well. And more keyframes means more file size. So if you delete them, you will see that the Lotte file size drastically reduces to 32.5 kilobytes. 
Now we can download the JSON file and use it on our website. You can check out the link in the description to see a few more examples of rig based lottery files on my website. I will also drop a Gumroad link to download project file. You can use it to understand the process better. Now you can bring in the power of rigging to up your animation game in the lottery files for web. If you find this tutorial helpful, like and share, leave a comment if you have any questions and follow for more.